Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Monday the 22nd of June. The local media headlines today. The company which owns Cormac has spent around £2,000 trying to silence a former Cornwall Council cabinet member who's been asking questions about health and safety. Now, given that every penny in CoreServe is owned by you, the taxpayer, you're entitled to ask if this is a sensible use of your money. The Cormac Gate scandal just won't go away, even though the serious accident which forced a worker into early retirement was more than three years ago. The questions keep coming and are likely to provide further entertainment at County Hall next month. Cornwall Reports also covered the latest COVID-19 death at a local care home. Eleven residents at Pengover House in Liscard have tested positive for coronavirus. Cornwall Council has confirmed it has no plans to decommission its temporary COVID-19 mortuary at Newquay Airport. It has capacity to take 900 bodies, but so far hasn't been needed at all. County Hall is also in no hurry to lower the voting age. Last year, councillors suggested that 16-year-olds might take part in next year's local elections, but officials say it's not at the top of their to-do list. And get ready for a bit of a rumpus over leisure centres, as signs are growing that some local areas might lose out if the management company goes for a phased reopening next month. Time is running out if you want to have a say about proposals for a three-storey building in Penzance, which will be used to provide workspace for the creative industries. The Falmouth packet draws attention to the £5.8 million project at the Causeway Head car park. Planners are due to make a decision next Monday. Pirate FM said that Charlestown has come top in a national survey of TV drama locations. It featured heavily in Poldark. The Cornish Times covered a lifeboat rescue at Talent Bay. The BBC got excited about the summer solstice. And finally, Cornwall Live has a list of what it says are good news stories. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.